We'll get one last little first gear pull here. If I don't stall. What is going on you guys? We're having an amazing day so far. If you are new here, my name is Christian. This is my 1997 Volkswagen Jetta, aka Miley. If you watch Tuesday's vlog, you will know that I said Tuesday was my last and final prep day for Eurotripper, which is tomorrow morning we leave. But now it's Thursday morning. I find myself here at Fans Performance, which if you do know, this is the place I painted my car a while back. And so now I'm here again a day before I leave for a show. Interesting. So what exactly would I be doing here at the shop a day before I leave for a go tripper? Well, we are indeed in fact painting the car today, but it's not exactly what you think. So no, no one freak out. We're not painting the entire car a day before a show. Um, I love the color of the car, that's all fine. There are a few things that were messed up that I want to get fixed from the last time I got sprayed and I had, I had no time. We've been going to shows, I've been gone. It's been ridiculous. So today is the last day that I have time and these dogs are ruined. I'm vlogging dogs, I'm vlogging killing me right now. So today is the last day that I have some time to get these parts fixed. So the parts on my that will be getting resprayed today are the front bumper and the rear bumper and I'll explain exactly what's going on with both. So for the rear bumper here we're going to be adding another layer of color and another layer of clear on top. If you have seen my car in person you may have noticed this or you might not have. I don't really know. On the rear bumper here if you can see you can see some like black specks through here and some like the sanding marks where I messed up and I didn't sand the bumper quite enough. So today we're gonna sand this down a bit smoother, recolor it so the black specks aren't showing through, re-clear it, and then it's good to go for the rear. Hopefully you can see that, but you see these little specks right here, like right there, and like right there. So all that we're gonna do is cover those up today and re-clear it. Now the front bumper here, color-wise, is perfectly fine. There's no specks, no sanding problems, but we're gonna add some more clear towards the bottom down here and around like the vents in the bottom. The top portion is fine, um, but I want some more clear, make it glossier down throughout this section there. So we're gonna pull the bumper off, scuff it up, clear the whole thing again, so the entire thing will be nice and glossy all the way around. And then after those two things, Miley will be nice and perfect, ready to go for your tripper tomorrow. It's crazy I'm at a shop doing paint work literally a day before I leave, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I also do apologize. I keep saying paint. My car is not painted. If you're new to the channel, my car is actually Halo EFX right there on the door, right there, boom, Halo EFX. So this is actually a liquid wrap. I can peel this right off, which is crazy to think, and you can still have that nice finish on it. So like I said, this is not paint. This is Halo EFX, really nice product. If you're in Florida and want something like this on your car, hit up my buddy Nando at Paint Performance. He can hook you up and get you something like this. I quite like it. And what's really cool about this product, the Halo EFX, since it is rubber based and you can peel it off, it's very, very durable. It's like, for the most part, chip resistant, scratch resistant, all that kind of stuff. I've taken this car up to Savannah for um, your Euro European experience. I've been to South, I've been all over in this car. I've driven a lot of miles in this car. I don't have a single rock chip and this stuff drives quick. So I'm painting the bumpers today, putting it back in the car and driving home and we're good to go. Like it drives so fast and it's super durable. It's a really good product. So if you think this is something you want to do to your car versus actually vinyl wrapping it or actually painting it, this is a very good option for your car. And if you're in Florida, Hit up Fans Performance, the number right down the door, and the website. I'll put the Instagram stuff down below. Check him out. Really good products, good body work. He does a ton of stuff. He actually paints cars too. Paints cars, wraps cars. Whatever you need, he can hook you up. And he has dogs, which make vlogging extremely difficult. Yeah. You better ruin the whole day, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Ooh, what do I hear? Ooh. Ooh, look who's here. Look who's here. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Okay. 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 Not too shabby. I haven't seen this car since Simply Clean, but I love it, dude. I'm changed. I've already changed know, a bunch of stuff on it. I've been seeing the wheels are new. It had RSs on it. It's clean though. Yeah, it looks really the nice. The stance is new. The camber is way, way, way. You went from negative nice. twelve to negative six, right? Huh? Negative twelve to negative six. Yes. Much I like it, dude. If it's nice. It's changing color pretty soon. I need a two forty, man. One of these days. All right, gonna pull the car around back and get the bumpers pulled off the car. A quick little light sand, lay some color, and then we're out of here. Back at the old shop where my car was about, what, a month ago? No, two months ago. A couple months ago, my car got sprayed right here where the gorgeous, the gorgeous blue was born. 
So now we're back. Get the bumpers fixed up and we're out of here. All right, while he's blowing out the shop, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bumpers pulled off real quick. And I give in to the lesser fight. My body aches to be satisfied. My weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes. I'm one down, one to go with my uh, modified American rebar that I painted green to fit the European bumper here. My tips are dirty. Look at that. Ew. I'm going to wash those while it's open. So, front bumper off and then we're ready to go. Also, while this bumper's off, it reminds me, when I was putting my bumper on a while back, I actually broke this tab right here. You can see how it's hanging. It happens a lot to these things. And I actually brought a new one today. It's right, right here. I brought a new one because last I put it on, I was too lazy to pull it back off to flip it. But now, got a new one. So while it's off, I'll fix that too. For the easy high. Please fortify this strength of mine. My weakness comes and goes. Front bumper is now off. Gonna pull the dummy fogs and stuff out. The little pieces on the bottom, the vents and the lip all off. Then we can start scuffing them up and we're ready to go. Also, a little trick for you guys. If you find that you're always losing your dummy fogs, your little fog lights are always falling out, a little trick you guys can do. In the back side right there, what you should do is zip tie it in. See that right there? Boom, zip tie. Oh, it never falls out. Everything is now off of the front bumper. It's crazy, all that stuff comes off this bumper right here, but they're both bare ready to go. Unfortunately, the rear bumper, we can actually pull this lip off. We have to tape it off, it's not that big a deal. So this one's ready, that one's ready. Gonna scuff them up and spray some color. Look how nasty these remiss tips are. Look at the back there. I mean, you don't ever see that, but it looks gross. I'm gonna wipe that off real quick, that's, that's terrible. There, that's a lot better. Ooh, man, these remiss tips are by far one of my favorite pieces of this car. I love these things. So, massive shout out to Omar, who actually gave me those exhaust tips. He just said, you can have them. And those things are super rare and expensive, and he just handed them to me. So, Omar, if you're watching this, huge shout out to you. I absolutely love those things. By far, one of my favorite parts in this car. So, thank you. Shop is now clean. Nando's grabbing his uh, Santa real quick. Gonna hit this one first, make it all nice and smooth. Some color on this thing. Fix these specs. While Nando's getting the bumpers all prepped and ready for paint, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this uh, bumper bracket here. It's pretty simple to do. There's a little top and bottom tab. You can see right there. There's a little like rubber pieces inside this little like right there. You wanna grab that with like a flat head, something that you can grab, or near those pliers, pull it out. That allows you to pull the clip out without breaking it. So if you look, there's a little, little one right there, and right there, over here, I already have it pulled out. This one, the top one over here, as you can see, is broken, which is why it's not holding anymore. So you pull this out with like a needle nose pliers out of the way, that way you can pull it out without messing it up. So these ones I'm gonna pull out, stick it back inside, and then push your piece back in. So yours should look something like this, with the um, little pieces pushed up. You can see how right there, how it's pushed out a bit. Push them both in the back side, push them out. Then you're gonna push it in, and then you're gonna push these uh, right here back in to hold it. Once your bracket here is back in place, I used a hammer and just hit these back in. Now it's snug, not coming off, and it's not broken, so my bumper will be hanging off all awkward like no more. So now we're fixed. I also decided, since I have all this stuff apart off the bumper for once, uh, I went through and wiped it all down. So I wiped off the Kanye shades, wiped off the dummy fog, because when the Kanye shades are on, 
it's hard to get anything between it to wash it off. So I'll wipe the fogs off, wipe the little lower vents off. All these little on the outside fog lights here got wiped off. This little one's there, the back of the lip. So much cleaner stuff. Updates as of now, the bumpers are now inside. In the last little acid bath, so all the dirt is possibly off of them. The colors will be mixed here in a second, and then we can start spraying. Is it acid or acetone? One of the two. One of the two is happening right now, so let's be clean. And then once you start spraying, I'm gonna see if I can't get the keys to that S14 out there because I really want to take a closer look at it. All right, door just went down. I'm gonna put my up in the front. We don't risk any overspray getting on her or messing anything else up. Just the back seat full of OEM Vento pieces. Nice, all them goodies. I don't know what it is exactly, but Mark 3s with no bumpers look so cool to me. I don't know what it is. I don't know, she just looks cool with no bumpers. No front bumper, aired out. No rear bumper. It just looks cool. I don't know why, it's cool. Imagine no bumper, like a crazy like carbon fiber diffuser, like a big chassis wing, like S14. I mean, I'm just kidding, but it'd be kind of cool. All right, so we have a slight problem. It's not the end of the world, but it is a slight problem. Back when my car got sprayed originally about three or so months ago, we had put Pearl along with the flakes and stuff in the, in the color. Um, Pearl apparently goes bad after like two, three months, and I'm over the three month period. So the color we got back out, we were mixing the color, it was way different than before. So it's a lot milkier, it's a lot like, like a light baby blue, and we're not gonna spray up with that. So we're just gonna re-clear the front and the rear bumper. So they'll still be the same color. They'll be nice and glossy and fresh. The back will still have a little bit of speckles in it, but it's not the end of the world. So at the end of the day, my car will be, the bumpers will be nice and smooth, nice and glossy. The back one will be even smoother than before because we sanded it down even more. So there'll be just be a hair, a little speckles here and there. Um, nothing too crazy. It is what it is. This is what happens when you do things the day before. I can't be mad. It's not that big a deal, but that's all good. I have acquired the keys to the Nissan, the Nissan S14. If you know me, you know I've always wanted an S chassis car, something similar to this. Personally, I want an S13, probably an S13 vert or even a convertible, but you had a manual swap it. But I would not say no to a lovely S13. This thing is absolutely gorgeous and I have the keys. Gotta open her on up here. Super clean. Apparently, this is the JDM interior. I don't know too much about these cars, like in terms of what's JDM, what's American, but apparently, these are the JDM seats, the JDM like cluster, and all that kind of stuff. I feel right at home in this car. I think this feels really nice. That kind of that 90s kind of feel of a car. It feels really nice in this car. I've always wanted a drift car. I've always wanted something to slide, and everyone's like, no, don't make a drift car. Everyone does drifting. But I've wanted an S chassis car since way before Instagram, way before YouTube. I've always just loved these cars. It's a cool look, and they're just, they're just cool cars. And it's funny, as long as I love these cars and I've had so many friends that have had these cars, I've never driven one. I've rode them before, but I've never once driven an S chassis car. Slacking. So I just went inside real quick, uh, talked with Nana for a little while. I just looked at the bumpers, they look amazing. First layer clears on, they're so glossy and so smooth. One more layer to go, but he said, while I wait, why don't I drive the S14? And I'm not gonna say no to that. I've never driven them before, so I'm excited for this. So I'll get, yeah, I'm excited. Make sure we're neutral. All right, let's go ahead and get a little start for you guys here. Oh, baby. Like I said before, I've never driven a 240 before, so I don't know exactly where reverse is, and there's no, uh, there's no pattern here, so I'm gonna assume it's probably over and down. I don't need these cars to have a six gear, so I'm gonna leave it there and ease off slowly and hope I don't have a curb. And let off slowly and hope for the best here, just a little bit, little bit. Ah, oh, okay, we did it. All right, that's that's reverse. I did it. All right, so first impressions: the car is not too hard to drive, but the clutch grabs extremely quick. It's a bit jerky, but it's fun and it sounds cool. Woo oh my god! Ah, oh, I need boost sounds. That sounds amazing. Oh, that would never, ever, ever, for any reason, ever get old. I'm sorry, this is a very, very terrible angle, but this is the best way I can put you guys in the camera so yeah, I can drive safely and you guys can still see and hear the car. So, you guys can kind of hear how the clutch sounds. I try to not stall this car. Ugh. All right, we got it, we got it. That sounds so good and it pops. And it pops. I think. Ugh, it's so catchy. It's nothing like my car. God, that sound is absolutely addicting. That was the first time I actually hit like full boost. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, this 
this thing is crazy. All right, so I pulled over real quick. Um, I'm gonna try to put the camera in a better spot, but oh my goodness, this thing is an absolute blast. Like, listen to that. And I only actually hit full, like, partial full boost like one time so i'm gonna go put the camera in a better spot so you guys can see i'm gonna drive back that way and oh it's so much a fun car all right so i have the camera in a ridiculous spot my joby is like through the headrest of the seat but it's like it's pretty sturdy so i think this will work all right let's just hope you guys don't go flying you see you see yeah you can see all right just stay buckled up and you'll be all right let you guys see i'm gonna try to get more into boost this time but again it's not my car and i don't want to break it but it's very, very fun. We'll do first, second, and to the floor. Once that boost kicks in, it's crazy. That thing pulls so hard. Ridiculous. Yeah, this thing is wild. I have to say, this may be the most rowdy car I've ever driven. This thing was quite an experience. I need an S14, I need boost. Holy crap. All right, so the bumpers are done. Gonna check them out real quick. Let them sit for about an hour while we eat. Oh my goodness, they're so glossy. So much gloss. The rear and then the front. Looking so, so good. Killed it, absolutely killed it again. So we're gonna the bumper sit for about an hour or so while we eat and just relax, then put it back in my car, and then I'm off to head home. That 240 right there, that's a fun car. I need a 240. And I love that it's a manual, because like I love I love the challenge of trying to learn how to drive a new clutch, a new all the stuff that's new, you gotta really learn how to drive the car. That was a lot of fun. It actually pushed, I haven't driven a new stick car in a long time. That was a lot of fun. And I thought I was in boost the first few times. I'm like, oh, there's the boost. And like, I stood on it a little bit. And it's like, what? I was like, whoa. I, was like, I didn't hit boost at all until then. Wow, that's a fun car. Very fun car. The food has arrived. They forgot a drink. They forgot my sweet tea. They forgot his Pepsi. Now, now I'm sad. The guy just came through. Sweet tea and brought the Coke. We're ready to go. And we, got some, we got some free coupons. We're watching comedians in cars eating coffee. I've never seen this show before, but it's actually pretty amazing. This is a good show. A touch, but bumpers are looking absolutely gorgeous. It's been about what, hour and a half or so? Yeah. And you can already touch it. Good to drive home, move back in the car. You can put it off on the bottom? They look so good. Yeah, we can put them off on the bottom. All right, bring your car back here. All right. My car is so incredibly easy to drive compared to that S14. I literally went to push my clutch in and almost sent it through the floor. That S14 has like a competition clutch in it, a built diff, all this crazy stuff. It's got like 300 and like 30, 40 horsepower. It's a pretty quick car. It's really, really nice, but compared to a little, little mile here, this is a lot easier to drive. Bumpers are done, ready to go. Gonna put it back in the car and we gotta head out of here. Miley's is officially back in one piece and looking shinier than ever. The front bumper and the rear bumper back here looking so, so, so good. Again, a massive shout out to my man right here. Famous performance, hooking it up last minute. This is my fault, <laughs> not his. Don't bring your car last minute to your shop because, I mean, honestly, this looks great, but just don't bring your car last minute. It makes everything rush. But the car looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to leave for your trip tomorrow. It's gonna be good. So come by, see the car, see what kind of work he does. If you're in Florida and want this kind of stuff done to your car, check out Favorite Performance right here in Longwood, Florida. He will definitely hook you up. Tell him I sent you. This car looking nice. All right, well, the car looks great. This epic song is playing. Thank you, man. I, 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 I appreciate it. I thoroughly appreciate it. All your hard work. It looks awesome. Make sure you hit this guy up. All that stuff down below if you want to head him up. Awesome work. Back in the car. Let's get it turned on here. Oh, what a good sound. That is going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, hit the thumbs up. If you enjoyed that amazing S14 and all that amazing boost noise, hit the thumbs up. If you guys are new, subscribe. I will see you guys literally tomorrow for Euro Tripper. Come out to the pre-meet. Come out to the barbecue. Wow, well, barbecue. It's going to be an awesome time. The whole Mark 3 squad is going to be there. We're going to have so, so much fun. Do not forget to be thankful every single day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Boom, big surprise. Vlog is not over. Look, Greg's here now. Hey. So yesterday I didn't film this, but I stopped at Greg's house looking for the hood bra or the, the front bra for my car. I have the hood bra like this one, and I wanted the full front face mask for my car to go to Eurotripper. 
and we couldn't find it. It wasn't at my house, it wasn't at his house. We looked for like two days straight, and then Greg finally finds it. Jersey has it. It's over on International Drive, so we're heading there now. This is like bonus footage for the vlog. I already ended the vlog, but this is like, if you stay this long, it's a bonus footage for you. Made it to our meeting location, this very dark, dark corner. I4 is actually right there. This is actually Greg's work right behind us right here. So we're waiting for Jersey to come up and meet us and give me this hood raw. Greg's car has the brightest lights, like in the whole world. Like <laughs> these lights are so obnoxiously bright. Like, look at that. That's so much. And his tag lights are equally bright and obnoxious. Like, look at that, you can even see the plate. It's just so bright. So been there. Waiting. So Jersey bailed on plans to come here. So now we have to go to I Orlando to get this this bra. This is turning into quite an adventure. <sighs> Lexus's new freaking it's a mall. Assert your dominance, Lexus. We made it! Eventually I want to get a picture of my car aired out like down there in front, but not tonight. But it's pretty cool, it's all lit up like this. This is exactly Orlando. I missed it, but the Porsche and the Altima were having like a backup battle. Look, they're still coming. I can't. I can't. We have a line. We have a line, guys. You can't make Oh my gosh. Come on. This is you the got most this. Awesome thing ever. You got this. Nope, you're going to pull back out? You got it. Uh, Oh, proud of you guys! Hey, <laughs> you, did you did it! it. <laughs> oh, Orlando at its finest. G wagon. All right, so it is currently about 9:45. We've been waiting for Jersey for I don't know how long. This was supposed to be a quick little 30-minute thing there and back. Grab the hood bra, we'd be out, and it turned into this massive deal. And somehow we ended up here. I don't know. We're just we're just waiting at this point. Oh my goodness! It is a miracle. It's a miracle, Greg. Greg, Greg, it's a miracle, look, look. But he can't park, but he's here. <laughs> this 15 point turn of it. <laughs> the package. Greg, come all the way this way. I appreciate it. The package Genetics. acquired. Oh, the ramp. <laughs> that was quite the drawn out adventure for literally a two second transaction. But the, the face bra has been acquired. We're gonna head back home. He has a bunch to do tonight. I have a bunch to do tonight. I have to watch the car still, edit this video. Uh, it's gonna be a long night. I also feel like this video is getting way too long, so I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.